Hi everyone, Jasmine here from Polish and Glitter. So I have a little bit of a haul for you guys. Um, this is stuff that I have ordered and also a few things that I um, went in store both to Hobby Lobby and Michael's to pick up because um, I had a, a doctor's appointment and um, I just wanted to pick up a few things. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I picked up is this bright lime green yarn. My son really wants a yarn Yoshi. He wants me to crochet him one. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm gonna certainly try. So I bought this bright green yarn to try and just, you know, make it for him. So we'll kind of see how this goes. And all the yarn was on sale for like 30% off. So I got a good deal on it and it's a pretty big um, skein of yarn. So I got that. And then I got this little packaging. It seems pretty small. It says it's three by three inches, um, but it's clear packaging. And these were, I believe like half off or a little bit more than half off. So I thought it would be cute for like, bulky rosettes um, that are really chunky. I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. So I picked those up. Um, and then I also picked up, I don't know if this is any good, but it's gray iron-on. I want to um, make a sweater for my husband. I figured out how to um, like make a PNG into like a multi-layer SVG. I like YouTube did and Googled it. So I made the file, but now I just needed the right colors to make his sweater. So I picked up this gray iron-on and it's from the paper studio. And it was, I don't know if it was like 40% off or 50% off. But anyway, I picked this one up. So we'll see, hopefully it works and it sticks onto his sweater really well. Um, and like I said, the his and hers stuff was half off. So I picked up two of these little diamonds, uh, confetti things. I picked up some um, makeup brush holders for my new makeup area um, a few months ago. And they don't, I bought them without any filler because they were less expensive. Um, but I ended up separating my brushes a certain way where now there's like extra room in there. And I wanted to use like these kinds of little diamonds to um, to anchor in my makeup brushes, if that makes sense. So I picked these up and I figured if they don't work out for what I wanted them for, they're clear and I can just use them as like confetti or something else entirely. So hopefully they work out with, they work out for what I bought them for. So that was everything from Hobby Lobby. Um... And then up next, this is the stuff that I purchased online from Michaels. So um, I'm actually expecting a little girl. So I want to hang up like those big giant 3D flowers above her crib. So I'm hoping I can do a good job on those flowers. Anyway, um, for the centers and for some of the leaves, I bought, I don't know if I'm going to use the rose gold or the gold yet. I had gone in store and both of these were completely sold out. So these were actually about $6 and it was buy one, get one free. So I thought it was a good um, deal and I got the gold and the rose gold. And I like that this is a true rose gold, not like a pinky rose gold. So I picked up those, and I've had this stuff for a little while, but um, I hadn't put it away yet, so um, I was just waiting to put it away um, because I wanted to do this haul. Anyway, um, I picked up a 20, 2020 and 2021 planner. Um, I'm sure you guys know everything that's been going on with the Black Lives Matter and all of that stuff, and... There's just some some inconsistencies. I love my happy planner, but there was just some inconsistencies in their social media posts and it just didn't sit well with me. Um, that doesn't mean I'm completely going to cancel out the happy planner brand. I'm still going to use what I have, but because it didn't sit well with me, I just 
I want to try something else, um, but still keep an eye on them. And hopefully I can give, give them a chance for them to be able to redeem themselves. So anyway, that's just my opinion. That's my decision. Um, so I decided to get a new planner um, because I'm excited to use it. And it just, it's something different. And um, I actually really, really like this one. I saw somebody else on Instagram um, I think she has a YouTube too um, moon prism planner she posted the inside of this one while she was shopping around in Michaels um, and I just felt like it was a really good neutral planner and I kind of like that there's nothing here so I can just put down some washi here and put down some stickers here on the monthlies and then it's just really nice and plain hopefully I'm in frame but yeah um, it's just really nice and plain and I like it so hopefully this planner works out for me um, it was on sale for 40% off so it was about $17.99 and it is an 18 month planner so it'll take me through the end of next year so like I said I don't I don't know how well this is gonna work out for me I'm pretty sure it'll work out just fine because it's the same layout as my happy planner um, but yeah that was just my decision and um, I really do hope that Happy Planner can redeem themselves, but we'll see. So that's that um, from my online Michaels order. And then from my in-store order, I was actually looking for what I ordered online in-store, but they didn't have it. So um, I ended up purchasing a couple of things in-store. So I purchased um, this uh, I don't know what it's called, like container. I have a whole bunch of these. These were, I bought these during the biggest sale of the season and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it comes with 16 photo boxes on the inside and they're all really nice and organized. And we can put pictures. I like to use these for like embellishments and stuff like that. Um, so my plan for this one that's empty is to, um, put in like handmade embellishments and rosettes and stuff like that but specifically for holidays so yeah but I'm, I was really excited to find this it was under $13 I had never seen these that inexpensive before so I was super duper excited to find this so I got one I was gonna get two but my space is really limited right now and I just didn't want to overdo it so I only bought one um and then oh my gosh my bag totally ripped so I also ended up picking up these two um paper pads these were on sale for $4.99 yes $4.99 so um the one I really wanted was the little girl one because obviously I'm having a little girl but I have so much like Maggie Holmes, pastel, floral stuff that I'm like, I don't technically need a girl one. Um, but with my husband, he loves fishing and my son, um, I'm still doing, I specifically got these actually for my son. I'm still working on, or actually I'm not working on, but I want to focus on his um, school scrapbook that I have for him I've only done one page and I have some layouts in mind but for one particular picture I couldn't figure out a background paper for it so I found this one which is called Cedar Lodge and there's some really good ones in here so I actually really liked this one for the background of that page that I want to create for my son's um, school scrapbook so even this one would be a good one um, and it has like all the woodsy stuff this one would be a really good one too um, it's just really cool so I love this one and then um, I have a project that I just finished and then the next thing that I wanted to work on was my son's um, scrapbook so this one is like um kind of like a sea coastal theme and this one's just really cute i have a lot of pictures um from a few years ago 
and even last year of us going to um, the aquarium so I thought that would be really cool to this particular pad would be really cool to use for that and then also for any like mermaid um, type mail or anything like that um, there's some pages that would work out well for that as well so I picked up these two pads that was all I picked up there wasn't really anything else that caught my eye um, and then also um, I don't have any like specific pictures or plans yet but I saw this one that's kind of like it says every mile a memory so it's kind of like travel themed um, in a way, but it's really nice and plain. It's just like this, you know, beige color and then the back is really plain. I thought this one would actually be perfect for a family like scrapbook type of thing. So that's my next project that I have in mind. Um, but that won't be for some time. But anyway, it was $5, so I just, I picked it up. Um, and then I did pick up some paper. So I was doing some rosettes the other day and I actually realized I do not have any navy blue paper um, in this size. So I ended up just going ahead and picking up this one and this one because it was buy one get one free. So like I said, I am going to be working on the flowers hopefully soon for my dog like above my daughter's bed um so I picked up that pink and then I also picked up this one's really hard to tell but it's like a peachy pink and then it has kind of like a pearl shimmer to it I don't really know how to explain it but and it's double-sided so it's really pretty um and yeah I just picked up this all this paper and I need to put it away because it's just I'm sitting here and then I also picked up so I picked up the sizer HTV was 10 bucks um, and I had some money that had been gifted to me from family members for my birthday so I picked up all this stuff so i do have a little bit of white but i don't have a lot so i figured up i might as well just pick up a whole roll and then like i said i'm having a little girl so i picked up the glitter girl the glitter gold because i figured i can find some use for it and i can make her some shirts or something like that or some onesies and then i actually needed this blue for my husband's sweater so I picked up this set that has like a hot pink, the blue, and the mint, and like the little lavender color. So I picked up these, and these, like I said, were 10 bucks a piece. So that was more than what I intended to spend. I was only going to get some uh, paper, and that was just about it. Um, but I ended up finding other things. Okay, and then the last, the last few items I picked up from um, Michaels. I have a feeling they're gonna get rid of the Martha Stewart stuff because it was all basically like on like sixty percent off or something like that. So um, I picked up the last few doilies that I saw. So I don't have a yellow like this. I have like a brighter, like a kind of like a goldeny yellow. And I do have silver, but um, this is kind of plain and I figured I can use it for like Christmas stuff or stuff like that. I wish they had gold or rose gold, but they didn't. So I just picked these two up because they were on sale. And then these beads were on sale for like 97 cents or something crazy like that. So I love the hot pink for summery stuff. I just thought it was really cute. So I picked that up as well. Um, and then... I do have a video where I show that I'm doing my son's, um, I, I don't know if it was his last day of school or back to school um, board. It's like a chalkboard 
and so I saw these that were metallic and it comes with two gold ones a rose gold and a silver so I was like really excited about these and I just picked these up and I used a coupon for this as well so that's everything that I picked up from Michaels and then the last bit um, I picked up a couple of things from KG Crafts. Let me open this first. Okay, so like I said, I opened, I picked up a couple of things from KG Crafts. She's on Instagram. I will um, link her down below. Hopefully I remember to do it, but I will link her Instagram down below and she has like an online store and sometimes she sells things through her Instagram page. And um, I believe this was an Instagram sale because she's supposed to update her site really soon and I'm waiting for a couple of things, but anyway. I'm getting too much into it. I ended up picking up this um, Dulce by Frank Garcia pad and it was just so freaking cute. I keep seeing like people post about this one. I think I'm gonna hoard it for like a while before I use it because it's just that cute. But yeah, so I picked up this and then um, I had hauled these I think from Peachy Cheap a while ago um and i used them all up except for like two butterflies so i ended up picking up two more packs from her and then i got these little rows um like what do you call these again um shoot like these little uh rows things i just thought they were really cute and then i also picked up these um they're called sprinklets but um i thought they were so cute to kind of mix together and then maybe add like green and black for halloween shakers oh and this is her little um card so kg crafts it doesn't have her website but um i'll include her instagram down below and then i got this little mini die which i thought was so cute to be able to embellish and then i thought these flowers were so pretty as well and these are from rosie studio so that's everything that I picked up online. And then the last thing I picked up was from Walmart. I just randomly saw these, but these are Westcott um, scissors and there's a three pack. And I love that they have like the rubber, so they're really comfortable. And I have, I used to have um, some scissors of this brand as well, and I lost them. So this was a set for 15 bucks for three scissors. I thought it was a good deal. And um, yeah, I just, I picked these up and they're mint, they're cute. You can tell they're good quality. So yeah, I picked them up. And yeah, that's all of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are staying safe and you take care of yourselves and have a great day. Bye.